John Lodge, I'm here in my studio, the LGX studio on 4th Avenue North in Billings, Montana. And uh, I'm here with the publication from my show uh, titled Fracture. It was at the Missoula Art Museum uh, in early 2021, uh, uh, March through July. And uh, I designed this uh, catalog based on the images uh, in, the, in the gallery, in the museum, and also in the studio being created. There are uh, uh, articles, there are essays by uh, Gordon McConnell, a noted uh, art curator, and Brandon Rengis, the uh, senior curator at the Missoula Art Museum, and also an interview that uh, Brandon did uh, with me that's transcribed in the book here. I designed this, I was in the printing uh, business for 45 or 50 years, something like that. So here is the infrastructure. The book starts out in a very loose sort of environment. It's all printed black and white photography because most of the uh, work is uh, black and white. It uh, gives us a pure pureness of form, I believe. Here's uh, some of the uh, grids and randomness. Everything is based on planned random systems and materials. Here's a uh, forward by Laura Millen. Here's an installation view, major pieces that I'm doing 15 feet by 10 feet. Here's the uh, sculpture. That's 9,500 sheets. It references a book from the printing business. It weighs 950 pounds. Uh, here's a, a focus target, just random graphic visual experiences. Here is the planned random system of printing grids that I've done. Uh, with special exposure processes uh, and then running through a press that's totally purposely put out of control. So it's scumming and making all sorts of, of uh, uh, interfaced with random glitches and uh, images and marks of, uh, of, the, of the ink on the paper interfaced with the images on the plate. Totally random system, totally planned, interfaced with the grids that you can see. Here's some of the plates, details of the plates. Here's some of the random images that were created by the system. We go through, here is a uh, decontrol, control, decontrol essay by Brandon Rengis. Uh, I've designed this typography. I always liked the design of seeing redacted images of documents on TV. Uh, so I thought, well, I'm going to form a drawing. So this, this, uh, this text is not only to be read, but I also like the idea that you can see it's a drawing. You can see, just look at it visually and see the wonderful structure of the form and the pattern and the tone of the typography uh, at a distance juxtaposed with random bars of redaction, redacted phrases. So it has this structure, but all of these are totally random, and they form these patterns that, that have a relationship to the images. These images, multiple images, multiple random layers. Here's the same concept in another format, and, and we just keep going. Here's my studio. Here's some of the pieces in the studio. Here's some of the plates that I use grids. It's photo photopolymer just on the table, random stuff laying around the studio, interfaced with formal professionally shot in the studio uh, photographs of the elegant installation at the Missoula Art Museum. So I like that addition. Here's my studio, my other studio in the house. That's the ceiling uh, pattern I designed, um, a system of conduits and frequency modulated fluorescent lighting. Here's uh, my use of dot patterns. Here's one of the major pieces, strata structure based on forms of, of uh, vertical structures, like in harmonic structures and sound, and also horizontal structures that relate to, to melodic patterns, all in a system of a visual uh, uh, sound form vibration system that goes vertical and horizontal. So you get a feeling of these structures of music. I had a, a jazz musician, saxophone player in Missoula, came to the reception, and he just on the spot, he said, here, why don't you go improvise to this piece? So he grabbed his saxophone. He's a one of the disciples of John Coltrane, so he wailed with this piece and picking up some of the visual nuances. It was uh, it was it was a, a spontaneous uh, happening, and so here's through you know more pieces, fracturing, fracture. See fracture, taking taking elements 
fracturing them and then reassembling them in different permutations. It's like a basic composition form of music. For one thing, here's the, here's the infrastructure of how my carbon colloid substrate uh, relates with, uh, to uh, surface tension and the materials of, of, of liquids and uh, uh, materials and viscosity and adhesion and cohesion. Uh, here's a piece that I project the piece of itself, this is a lot going on here, it's hard to explain, I don't know how long you want to have this, but this is a projection of that piece, that piece, there's an image of that piece is projected onto itself, and then it creates a double vision in all sorts of endless permutations of grids, and the title of that piece is Swarm, it's quite an effective piece. And then here's an essay by Gordon McConnell, and I've used a typographic technique here of, of um, breaking up the the lines into these angular systems, but the sides are flush and the angles are created within. Uh, and that, that again, it's like a drawing. It forms uh, patterns and systems of drawings. Here's, here's more images, and this is Gordon's very academic and scholarly. Uh, here's just permutations of a piece. Here's the infrastructure of a piece being built. This is a 12 and a half foot high uh, pillar that relates to the pillars in the uh, or the columns, the columns in the gallery. This is a stochastic system. It's a uh, stochastic strata structure is the uh, title of this, the planned random system. There's a blank page. This play page purposely made blank. Uh, here's uh, electric flowers. Here's the, uh, here's the ornithology. It's based on uh, uh, Charlie Parker's sound. And that's uh, used for the, um, the poster for Pulse Interval Analysis Show. And these more of my pieces. Here's the, and here's the essay that's the uh, interview. And here's my ambient air motion drawings. And, and I'll go through. Here's a checklist of the exhibition. There's captions of all the random photographs of the studio. There's captions you, you reference here in the back, references to the pages. And there at the end is John Lodge in 1986. It, way back then, I even have the, what I was talking about in the, uh, and there's Neon, that I was, <laughs> I was working with Neon back in 1986. Uh, that was a gift to me, but, and uh, I've had that ever since. And there's uh, Ornette Coleman and Miles Davis and John Coltrane and Thelonious Monk albums right there uh, in my collection. There is the catalog. It's published by the Missoula Art Museum and it's available through their website.